to see um, Vincent Tan, Mr. Juan Smith uh, from Facebook. Um, it is my pleasure uh, to host everybody here today. Um, indeed, uh, today is quite a significant day uh, for me as uh, it's been 10 years since I founded uh, ML Access Portal. Um, actually, it's one third of my life now. <laughs> um, so, um, 10 years ago, three people got together and uh, it was during the peak of the dot-com uh, bubble and uh, we thought that physical outlets would be an important part of um, making e-commerce work. And uh, we looked at which physical outlets were the easiest uh, to get connected and we saw that cyber cafes were the easiest physical outlets that were connected. And we decided at that time to develop a cyber cafe management software and give that software for free. Uh, indeed, uh, one other founder is here today, Mr. Ramli, who was... Um, and um, from there, we thought that the key area that would be important for e-commerce was payment, and we decided to turn cyber cafes into payment collection points. And uh, to get access to these cyber cafes, we decided to give the cyber, cyber cafe management software for free to all these cyber cafes to get a database of cyber cafes. With that, we went around looking for funding. And uh, it was a difficult time looking for funding at that time. Uh, indeed, I, finally, we managed to raise funding from Tan Sri Vincent Tan, um, who invested two million ringgit uh, 10 years ago uh, in this company. Um, I couldn't have prayed or hoped for a better investor and a more supportive investor than Tan Sri Vincent Tan. <laughs> Indeed, today, 10 years on, we have grown to more than cyber cafes. Today, MOL is in 500,000 payment channels across 80 countries worldwide. We are linked to 88 online banks across 10 countries. Um, we process today more than US 200 million worth of payment transactions. Um, back then, about three years ago, 90% of our business was in Malaysia, and we decided that going global would be an important aspect as the Malaysian market would be too small for us to grow in. Um, and we looked online at the time and wanted to see which were the most popular websites, and we found that a social network in fact, the world's pioneer social network was the most popular website across Southeast Asia. That website was Friendster. I dropped an email to, to the shareholders and the management of Friendster and said, you know, we are, we are open to do a commercial relationship or an investment or even an acquisition of Friendster. My email was not replied. <laughs> um, one year later, um, the CEO of Friendster realized that payments was an important part in social networking and uh, looked around for the best payment service provider across the world and uh, evaluated us together with other companies and found our uh, payment service to be one of the best regionally because we had physical outlets, because we were linked to the cyber cafes and the 7-Elevens of the world. Um, and after that evaluation, Friendster basically appointed MOL as their payment service provider. Uh, shortly after, um, the shareholders of Friendster basically decided that they would want to sell Friendster to a regional social network. And two years after I sent that first email, we acquired Friendster. <laughs> right? And um, um, moving on, we started talking to more social networks and started talking to Facebook as well. And um, uh, and I think uh, the relationship with Facebook started after, ironically, acquiring Friendster. <laughs> so um, um, we started. I started talking to Warren about six months ago on doing this strategic relationship. And I think both parties realized that payments and social networks go hand in hand together, and that is what we're signing today. Where MOL is appointing Facebook. Sorry, Facebook is appointing MOL as the payment service provider across Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand, India, Australia, and New Zealand. It is indeed um, 
a proud moment for Malaysia as well because this is the first time Facebook is actually entering into physical retail channels and is doing that with a Malaysian company. Moving on, MOL will continue to enter into more strategic relationships such as this. Um, you'll be hearing more such relationships coming on uh, over the next uh, quarter. Um, and we will continue to basically continue growing our momentum as the leading payment service provider in the region. That said, Tanshi Vincent Tan invested 2 million ringgit in my company uh, 10 years ago. Three years ago, a big internet company wanted to buy us. Um, and he, he turned that down uh, because since the value they're offering is not enough. And he gave me a mission to turn MOL into a billion dollar company. Well, nothing is impossible.